And congratulations on the new movie. Oh, thank you very, very much. So can you tell me a little bit about it? I sure can. I sure can. Uh, Out of the Burning Blue is a story about an American pilot, Jackson Cove, who's stationed in uh, North Africa during World War I, about 1918. He's grounded because of bad behavior. And uh, him and an English nurse go into the, uh, they're on assignment, they go into, uh, go into the desert to find a down German pilot. And uh, then, uh, then as good adventure stories uh, go, uh, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Uh, what attracted me to this role was, uh, was uh, you know, uh, J Jackson Cove gives me the opportunity to uh, to 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 play the uh, to play kind of a rugged uh, a rugged uh, a rugged guy. Uh, I haven't had uh, the opportunity in my career, just pretty much based on age. Uh, you know, I, I came in really young, and uh, you know, I'm I'm in my mid and late thirties now, and uh, it's about time to play some of these characters. And I was excited to get the opportunity. Sort of used to base the character on? Did you do a lot of historical re historical research for the time period? Uh, I I did a bit of historical research just to get acquainted with uh, with what uh, with, with what these pilots uh, were kind of like. Um, uh, but but really uh, the character uh, was really uh, was really easy to find based on the writing of the script. Uh, and uh, the Jackson Cove is kind of an amalgam of, uh, of some traits in myself that a lot of people haven't seen before and a whole lot of traits from uh, Damien Lay, uh, the director. We, it's kind of, a, uh, kind of a personal amalgam of both him and I, which was kind of fun to do. What attracted me to the role, the character. I was so blessed. It's every actress's dream to get the character arc that I had in this movie. Um, you know, to go from British nurse to German translator to the next stage, which I don't really want to tell you because you haven't seen the movie. Um, and, and not to ruin it for everybody, but... Um, I got to be so much in this movie and then as an actor you know you sit in somebody else's shoes but to really sit in the shoes of this character was a dream. Now how did you sort of uh, bring the character to life? I did a lot of internet research. That was The internet is it's so easy, it's so fast, you can get so much information so quickly from the internet and I needed to get it quickly because as I was saying I signed my contract for this job on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day. I met with the director, uh, the director and the dialect coach and I had to learn German. I had seven of my scenes speaking German, which I had to learn verbatim, not only understanding what my, my, my co-star was saying, Werner Dane, to me, but understanding what I was saying to him and what was going on in the scene and obviously learning the lines. So it was a big, big challenge for me and then I went on set on New Year's Day. So tell me about your first feature film. Right. It, it was challenging every single day, but as challenging it was, as it was, it was so rewarding. So rewarding, you know, because these, you know, Chris and Victoria and Werner and the entire crew just really stepped up every single day. What was the inspiration for the World War One setting? Well the film, it, it's it's a long story, but the film actually began um, as a documentary project and uh, it was a documentary project that I worked on for a couple of years and then I turned that documentary project into a, a theatre piece and then following the theatre piece I turned it into a, a feature film. So. Uh, it's a story that I know well, it's a story that I certainly identify with and it's certainly a story that I, I'm very, very passionate about. So, um, to watch the, like, you know, to grow the story as a director over a number of years and then to watch it come to life has just been a, an extraordinary experience and I, yeah, you know, it, what can you say? I mean, you know, you start with something so small and turned it into something so big with so many beautiful people involved and you know years and years and years of work to this point and I oh, just you know I, perfect is how I would describe it.